A day before the APEC economic leaders' meetings, Taiwan's representative at the conference, James Sung, was busy hosting a breakfast to launch a fund on women and the economy. He expressed support for women's rights and trumpeted advances Taiwan has made in women's equality, not least having a woman elected president in 2016 for the very first time. <laughs> James Sung joined with U.S. State Department official Thomas Shannon and Australian diplomat Karen Lanyon in hosting a breakfast to officially launch the APEC Women and the Economy Subfund. With Dr. Sung here, um, we have a very distinguished member of, of uh, Chinese Taipei who's played a very important role. We're very excited uh, about uh, what we can do with this and we look forward to, to working with all of you, but we really look forward to hearing from you today. Chinese Taipei elected its first female president last year. One outstanding lady in this room with us, Ms. Xiao, Xiao Meiqin. Uh, Xiao Meiqin. She is the next lady from Chinese Taipei. Actually, she defeated other male candidates in her own right. In addition to hosting the breakfast with an American official, Song held bilateral talks on Wednesday with Shannon and other American representatives attending the APEC conference. The most important thing Mr. Song wanted to emphasize was that our economy isn't just about looking southward. It is, in fact, very diversified. As for the Economic Leaders Summit to begin tomorrow, Song said he would act naturally in communicating with Chinese leaders.